Super Bowl 56, the day that we've all been waiting for. Yes, I know it's only Friday, but I am going to be revealing my game picks. These are the game picks that you guys have probably been waiting for me to see all week long. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get this started. So here's the topic question. What is your game pick for Super Bowl 56? Well, before I'm going to give out my game pick right away like that, I want to talk about what I think is going to happen. I'm going to talk about what's going to be the main headlines. Who do I think is going to stand out? Who do I think is going to play well? Who do I think is not going to play well? And then I'm going to reveal the Super Bowl winner. I'm going to reveal the score. And then I'm going to talk about who will win Super Bowl MVP honors. All right. So let's get this started up. How do I think this game is going to play out? Well, I got the Bengals scoring a field goal first. Evan McPherson, the best rookie kicker that I've ever seen in my life, will get the first points on the board for either team. The Bengals are going to kick a field goal, make it 3 nothing early in the game. All right, I don't got the Rams scoring in the first quarter. I think it's going to be somewhat of a defensive struggle because the Rams' defensive line is really good. They're going to get a lot of pressure on Joe Burrow. But you look at the Bengals' defense. Yeah, they don't have a lot of big names, but they get the job done. And their defense has been stepping up throughout playoff time for the most part. Eventually, in the second quarter, I got the Rams scoring a touchdown from Matthew Stafford to Van Jefferson. All right, he'll score a touchdown around the goal line. They're going to throw it. Van Jefferson's going to catch it. And the Rams will score the first touchdown in Super Bowl 56 for either ball club. So the Rams are going to be up 7-3 to three after that. Joe Burrow, after getting pressured early on in the game, he's going to respond back with the mental toughness that he has been displaying all throughout the postseason. That's going to lead to an Evan McPherson field goal. So the Bengals are now going to be down 7-6. to six. Then after that, it's going to be somewhat more of a defensive struggle as well. But Matthew Stafford's going to come up clutch from the two-man drill. He's going to make some big throws down the field and that's going to lead to a field goal by Matt Gay Pro Bowl kicker I believe for the LA Rams that's going to lead to 10-6 at the half in favor of the Rams with Aaron Donald with Von Miller getting pressure on, on Joe Burrow all day long so that's what I got happening then we're going to go to the second half and then we're going to see Jamar Chase break off a long reception. He's going to catch a deep pass, break some tackles, and he's going to help the Bengals score a touchdown. And he's going to bust this offense wide open for the Cincinnati Bengals. That's going to lead to a 13-10 to lead for the Bengals, which is going to be their first lead since the first quarter, basically. All right, so it's going to be a little bit back and forth. But then Matthew Stafford, he's going to take a drive down the field. He's going to do his thing. And he's going to make plays happen. And Odell Beckham's going to get involved. That's where he's going to get the meat of his receptions. Odell Beckham's going to score a touchdown. OBJ, 17-13, Rams. That's what I got happening. And then Joe Burrow, as great as he's been, he's thrown 14 interceptions this year, all right? So he's due for a turnover at some point. So he's going to turn over the football to somebody on the Rams, to that Williams guy. He's a corner for the Rams. He's going to throw an interception. That's going to lead to points off turnovers. The Rams are going to get a field goal off of that, 20 to 13 Pressure's going to continue coming to Joe Burrow, but then an unsung hero, the backup running back for Cincinnati, Samaj P. Ryan, I believe that's how you say his name. He's the backup running back to Joe Mixon. He'll end up scoring a rushing touchdown for the Bengals. Surprise everybody on the Rams. That's going to lead to a 2020 tie ball game, all right, because it was 17-13, then the turnover. That lead led to a field goal for the Rams, and then the Bengals are going to respond back with a touchdown. So it's going to be 20-20. to tie ball game we're already at the beginning of the fourth quarter so it's 20 to 13 rams at the end of the third quarter now it's going to be 2020 tie ball game matthew stafford as great as he's been this postseason he's only thrown one interception in the postseason do we really think that matthew stafford's going to only throw one interception throughout four postseason games no he's going to throw an interception all right then the rams defense is going to hold on though he's going to throw a pick but the rams defense they're going to stifle it up they're going to keep joe burrow in that Bengals offense at the end zone the Bengals are going to kick a field goal, make it 23-20. All right, behind Evan McPherson, this is going to give Eric, this is going to give Evan McPherson's third field goal of Super Bowl 56. This is going to give him 15 field goals made. So he's going to go 15 out of 15 so far. That's really incredible if you actually think about it, if my prediction comes out to be true. So I got the Bengals scoring the field goal, making it 23-20. And then it's going to be back and forth, just a lot of good defense. Then Stafford's going to get the ball back with a little under three minutes. He's going to be tasked with having to lead down a game-winning drive, whether it's a game-time field goal or scoring a game-winning touchdown. And here's what I got happening. I got Matthew Stafford throwing a game-winning touchdown pass to Cooper Cup, making it 27-23 Rams. All right, they're going to score with just over a minute left. Now, Joe Burrow, he's a great quarterback. He's red hot. 
coming into the Super Bowl, he's not going to obviously give up. He's going to fur- furiously rally the Bengals to get close to the end zone, but they're going to fall short. They're going to get in the Rams red zone. They're going to get inside the 20 yard line. They'll be really close to getting that ball in the end zone. It's going to come down to the final play. There's not going to be a QB kneel. And on the final play, he's going to throw it to Jamar Chase and it's going to fall incomplete. It's going to be one-on-one, Jamar Chase, Jalen Ramsey, throwing it to the end zone. It's going to fall incomplete. I trust Jalen Ramsey more than I trust Jamar Chase in the situation. No disrespect to Jamar Chase, but there's a reason that he's just a rookie while Jalen Ramsey is a veteran. All right, so that's what I got happening. So I'm saying that the Rams are going to win Super Bowl 56 by the score of 27-23. It's going to be a great Super Bowl to watch. And it's going to be back and forth, but it's ultimately going to come down to who can make that game-winning drive into the end zone. Because a game-winning field goal is not going to be enough. It's going to be, can they get a game-winning touchdown? That's going to be the difference in this ball game. So who do I have winning Super Bowl 56 MVP honors? Based on what I just said, I think it's going to be pretty simple. I think Matthew Stafford has got to win Super Bowl 56 MVP honors if this game plays out the way that I said that it did. So what do I have my stat line being for Matthew Stafford? Well, I got Matthew Stafford completing 23 out of 34 passes. Let's just say that's a touch before, below two-thirds completion percentage, 66%, whatever it is, 23 of 34. That's where he's going to go for 295 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, one interception he'll take a couple of sacks along the way but overall he'll play a pretty good performance that most people would be happy with or at least most rational people would be happy with and then you look at joe burrow for the cincinnati Bengals. he's going to go 20 of 35 he's going to complete under 60 percent. he's going to be on a lot of pressure and this is a, a really good rams defense he's going to throw for 262 passing yards he's going to throw one passing touchdown he's going to throw one interception He's going to play a solid performance considering how often he's going to get pressure. And when I look at this matchup, I keep wondering, how is the Bengals O-line going to hold up against this Rams defensive line? Because when you look at the Cincinnati Bengals O-line, they're not particularly very good. And I know Joe Burrow has overcome that all postseason long. He's a great quarterback, but they haven't played a defensive line as great as the Rams defensive line is. All right, you look at the three previous matchups that the Cincinnati Bengals were going up against the Raiders defensive line. They have Max Crosby, nice player, but, you know, they're not the L.A. Rams. And then you look at the Titans, their defensive line is good, but they were great against the Bengals. They sacked Joe Burrow nine times in that game. But, hey, Joe Burrow was still able to overcome those things. I don't know if the if the Rams get nine sacks on Burrow or something like that. They're not going to overcome that. That's what I see happening. Then you look at the Chiefs defensive line. They're not that good. They got Frank Clark, Melvin Ingram, nice players. They're not Aaron Donald and Von Miller and Leonard Floyd and Sean Robinson. This is by far the best defensive line that the Bengals are going to be going up against in these playoffs. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. And if you remember Super Bowl 50, why am I bringing this up? Because Von Miller played in that game. Well, Von Miller is now a participant in Super Bowl 56. He's going to keep getting sacks on Joe Burrow. I think he's going to get two, two, three sacks on Joe Burrow. He's going to keep getting pressure on him. Now, Aaron Donald's going to stuff up the run. I think Joe Mixon is going to be neutralized. Now, I believe that Jalen Ramsey versus Jamar Chase, that's going to be the X-factor matchup to watch. I think that Jalen Ramsey will have the better first half, but I mean, Jalen Ramsey will have the better first half, but Jamar Chase will have the better second half. That's what I'm trying to say, but Jalen Ramsey will come up clutch on the final play of the game, and then you got Cooper Cup, the triple crown man. He's going to score the game-winning touchdown. And what a fitting way would end. Stafford, the cup, game-winning touchdown. That's what I got happening. Odell Beckham, my guy, he's going to score a touchdown in the Super Bowl. He's going to prove his haters wrong. Now, I believe that the turnover battle will not be that much of a factor in this game. I believe both teams will only have one turnover and that that one turnover will only lead to a field goal for both of those teams. So that's what I got happening. Now, what do I think the difference will be? Because usually you say turnovers, they're the difference in the game. Well, I think that the difference in the game will be that Joe Burrow will only get his team a field goal to take the lead while Matthew Stafford will get his team a touchdown in key moments of the ball game. For an example, like I said, when it would be 20 to 20 in that fourth quarter, Joe Burrow's going to get his team a field goal, but Matthew Stafford's going to get his team a touchdown. That's going to be the difference. Now, if they manage to flip that around, Joe Burrow ends up getting a touchdown while Matthew Stafford can only get a field goal or can only get close to the end zone, that would not be surprised. But I ultimately believe that Matthew Stafford is more likely to score a game-winning touchdown pass than I would be in Joe Burrow scoring a game-winning touchdown pass. Those kind of things, when you have to make throws in the red zone, they require great arm strength. Joe Burrow doesn't have a great arm. Matthew Stafford has a great arm. That's going to be the difference in this ball game. 
that is why I got the Rams winning Super Bowl 56 by the score of 27 to 23 in LA since the Super Bowl is in LA with Matthew Stafford winning Super Bowl 56 MVP honors. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. For the comments, please leave your game picks and score predictions in order to have a chance to get a shout out on the Super Bowl 56 recap video that will come out the Monday after Super Bowl 56. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Tran Talks. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Sports Guy Talking to get the latest from the show, Tran Talks. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my socials. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from Tran Talks on the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.